Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Sam with Rococo. And with the release of our new indie bundles, we thought it was time to get a new, fresh, raw, and uncut look at what the tech can do uh, from zero to 100 to give you guys an idea of what is included in the new indie bundles. So today we're gonna be jumping into a suit, some gloves, and I'm just gonna show you straight up what it's like to use these tools. So without further ado, let's just, let's just get into it. I'm gonna throw on my SmartSuit Pro 2 and we'll record some motion capture. So I'm gonna get these legs in first and try not to fall over. Um, and I'm just wearing kind of basic athletic clothes. You know, I got some shorts on. Ooh. Yeah, Ugh. this whole process usually takes me about a minute, um, but you can put the suit on over, you know, regular clothes too. I just think it's a little bit more comfortable to do it this way. Um, and there we go, suit on. And I'm just hanging out, you know, in my home office. I don't need a ton of space to use the suit. I just need enough space to move around. Um, if you don't know, the suit is an inertial motion capture suit. And that means that there's sensors throughout the suit. Um, they communicate with your computer over Wi-Fi. So you don't need cables, you don't need cameras. You just need your suit, your gloves, your computer, Wi-Fi network, and a generic battery pack, um, which is also really nice. You know, I don't need to keep my suit charged. I just need an extra battery pack. So I can never run out of battery for my suit, which is not fun on production days, as I'm sure we all have stories of things like that happening. Okay, so gloves are on. The gloves just plug in natively into my suit, into the ends of the sleeves. And I will take off my beanie, put on my, my head cam sensor and Maybe we'll throw the beanie back on <laughs> over that. Um, so I don't know how long that took, but usually this whole process is, right, it's like about a minute. So super easy to go from, hey, I have an idea, I wanna record some motion capture, let me just jump into the suit and get going. So I've plugged in my generic battery pack here, and I've already set up this suit with this computer. So the Wi-Fi is all just automatically connected. As soon as I plug in my suit, Everything pops up into my scene. Um, I will create an actor profile. This is just a saved profile that has my height and some of my measurements to make the mocap more accurate. Um, drag on my suit, do a three second calibration, and we'll be done. So the calibration is just a straight pose, we call it, just hands down the sides, and that's it. And if that seemed not impressive, I guess that's a good thing because it, it's very easy to do this, but that's not true of all mocap systems. So this is something in particular that we like to show off, right? How easy it is to kind of just jump into a suit and like be ready to start creating and not have problems with occlusion, not have to fiddle with cameras, not have to fiddle with tripods and just get ready to create. Um, so I'm also going to add a character. So this is just a Mixamo character that I rigged up on Mixamo. And included in the bundles is uh, a plus subscription, and that allows you to do things like, um, you know, add characters from Mixamo, from Unreal Engine, from Character Creator. And it won't be a perfect retarget, um, but it can give you an idea of what you're doing uh, in the scene a little bit. And you can see it's so cool to get my fingies looking good. And if there are slight adjustments that I need to make, I can just go to the details panel and I can do things like maybe my arms need to be farther out or something like that, right? I can I can start making some adjustments to shoulders and things like that um, in here. And I can do that before or after recording or not at all if I don't want to import a character. But let's actually record some motion capture. I'm gonna hit record. I've got a three second timer. Do my standard deal here. Do my jumps. Yeah. <laughs> Do a kick. Don't kill myself. And um, yeah. Looks pretty good, you know. With mocap, it's it's always either dancing or karate or. Uh, middle fingers and so I chose karate mostly today. <laughs> so let's play back this clip and you can see when I was recording There was some funkiness especially when I was jumping around 
Um, and you can see right here, right? This is this is a little janky. This doesn't look right. And that's because the way that Rococo works on the back end is that we track the foot contacts with the ground, and then that ends up um, determining your positional uh, translation in space, right? So I'm actually going to just hide this guy so I can focus on my actual mocap. And if we come down here, you can see that I've got this red or this blue and green circle. And when it's filled in, the suit is saying, okay, my foot is on the ground. Right foot is on the ground blue circle. But here when I'm doing this jump, you can see that my suit thinks that my feet are still on the ground. So there is a process sometimes of just doing a quick little cleanup. Um, and then you can get kind of that, that perfect result. And this is a standard process for Rococo mocap. It is a part of the, of the process. It's not, that's not to say that I have to do this cleanup at, for every single take. Some takes I can do these jumps and like, it'll all be perfect. Like most of that was, was really good. Right. Um, you can see my incredible form there on uh, on my kick, but it was just that first one that needed a quick fix, and now everything like looks really great. So that is, you know, I don't know how many minutes it's been, but that quickly you can get up and running, creating, you know, motion capture in real time, and then we can export it out into our project. And again, I will just bring back my character here and just show you some of the, the finger goodness. You know, um, you don't, we also have a version of the suit that doesn't use the gloves, but once you start to use gloves, it just adds so much emotion to the motion capture that it's hard to go back to a, to a non-glove version of mocap. So the gloves are included in both the Indie Plus and the Indie Pro bundles. But the difference between the Plus and the Pro Bundle is face capture. Um, with the Pro Bundle, you will also get your choice of either iOS or Android-based facial motion capture. So let's jump in and, uh, and take a look at that. I'm gonna take off my beanie. I'm gonna unstrap my sensor from my head strap because after I throw on my head rig here that's going to hold my iPhone, my sensor will go right on top of this and I will do a new calibration and we will be ready to go again. So let me do another quick calibration and this takes three seconds. It doesn't have to take three seconds. You can actually adjust the calibration um, so it can just be one second or something. I like it to be three in case I need to get into position. Um, so now I will, let's open up my iPhone here and we will get a little uh, dialogue pop-up on the iPhone, and there we go. And that's it. Now I just drag my face capture into my scene, and here we go. And let's make myself a little bit bigger so you can get an idea of what's happening here. And I'm doing this all live just to show that, you know, we haven't been cutting, and just because I think it's interesting to show it off in, in real time. Um, hey, what's up? Hi, recording animation for my NPC or hero character for a video game or for an animated short, um, you know, so useful. And really, you can get some real expressive things out of this system. Um, and so that's pretty much it. I think we'll export out the recording that we just took, maybe throw it into Unreal, do a quick little render, and uh, we'll go check that out. So I took that mocap that we just recorded, I exported it out to Unreal and just retargeted it to a character, didn't do any other cleanup, and you can see that this is amazing. I mean, I think this is fantastic quality. I think it's really important for us to highlight that even though these are very affordable products, right, you can get a very high level of fidelity from them um, without doing like tons of cleanup and stuff like that. Now, you can always do extra cleanup, but right out of the box, this is fantastic. And if you need any more proof, join one of our webinars, our free webinars, or book a free demo 
evercoco.com. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below or check out rococo.com to see the indie bundles and get the amazing 40% savings that we have for indie creators now. Okay, see you in the next one.